feel like a boy, man. <laughs>son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at this guy. Did I really? Protein shakes, bro. Did I really catch you walking back with protein shakes? <laughs> yeah. God, you don't disappoint, Jeff. Are you right. kidding me? Oh, you're here. Take it. I feel it's like delicious. I'm part of the Illuminati now. You are. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. What? See, but she's not being honest. She really just wants you, Jeff. That's not true. And I wouldn't no, blame her. You too. <laughs> okay, I get that. I'm the best. Well, we got a little recovery tonics. You just take that down. Do you want to do like a cheers for the video? That's all right. You do a little shot. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not like it's like a celebration. Wait. We just do this stuff all the time, you know? Wow, look at that. You sweat like that, huh? Regularly. Yeah, I did. I did. That's how I look when I get out of the shower. Can I wash off quick before this? Yeah, can I come? <laughs> Stupid question. Go for it. Yeah, all right. Is that a no? Is this steroids? I just want to... What is this? You're not exposing me for steroid usage out here, are you? <laughs> no, I would never. No, you didn't put any of the steroid stuff I have in that cabinet in the video, right? Where's your shirt? Uh, Jesus uh, Christ, man. Uh, can we uh, switch uh, bodies uh, once? Huh? That's a body I should have had. What, like this? You don't think I'm malnourished? If a god existed. Do I think you're malnourished? Yeah, slightly. I could eat a little bit more. The Jewish mother in me wants you to put on I'm 5 to 10. So skinny all the time. The Hollywood depraved, slightly dysfunctional actor in me says... You never look better, okay. my boy. <laughs> 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 Not bad, Nerf. We're doing good. Nerf, can you believe that's your owner? I mean, look at him. You got more like a roommate relationship. I wouldn't say like owner to him. Can you believe I mean, that this is your roommate? <laughs> I mean, Nerf, you look good too, but jeez. Nerf's solid muscle, man. I know he he looks a little thick around around the ass, but he's all muscle. It looks like implants. What do you mean? It looks like everything in you was built by a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. It was. And that it wasn't cheap. No, it's genetics. What do you think? Nerf can make it as a Hollywood dog actor? Yeah, I think so. What, uh, what's the name of some big dogs, uh, dog actors you've worked with? I mean, there was Air Bud. You worked with Air Bud. Lassie. No. We got protein shakes. We, we're getting our proper nutrition. I can't believe we're over here drinking protein shakes. You do this regularly? Of course, bro. Every time you work out? Uh-huh. Something tells me you don't eat much. I eat whatever I want. I don't go overboard. Like, during the day, I watch what I eat because mm. I have a very addictive personality. I used to do a lot of drugs and alcohol. I had about Same a 10 year here. window where I don't remember anything. But I was a child actor in 300 pounds. We cleaned up our act. Mm -hmm. We're clean and sober now. Mm -hmm. We take care of ourselves. You're not a sober guy, are you? I smoke a little pot, but mm -hmm. that's legal. You can buy it in stores out here now, you know? Not sober. I, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Can you say this without an ego? And I wonder. Do you ever meet a girl, a female, someone of the opposite sex, and know right in that moment, like, I can kiss your face if I wanted. We can make out. I don't know how to answer that without an ego. That's a yes. That's a yes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'd like to have a push-up contest with you. Right now? Sometime soon. Okay, I'm down whenever. I'm pretty good at push-ups. How many can you do straight? 40? That's really good. Maybe. That's really good. I had a competition with Todd recently. <laughs> I love what you're like, that's really good for a little sweet baby chest. No, dude, we were only like, Maybe mid 50s. So you're really close. Like, if you push yourself, you could beat me. It'll be a little bonus extra at the end of this video. Okay, listen, guys, I put in the work. I lost 100 pounds. There's really nothing more for me to do except I want to level up. I want to be that extra level of good looking. I might not have the face. That's my mom's fault. But I can still, perhaps, maybe have the body. That's not true. Because you stretch your skin at 300 pounds. It's beyond recover. But I can have a better body than I have now. So. I thought I would go to the expert, the number one badass the vlog squad. I mean, come on. We, we, you know, we were in the top for a little bit, but it's not Todd season right now, okay? The dragons are here, and they're calling Jeff's arms, all right? Winter That's has right. come, and That's it's time, right. all right? It's the last season of Game of, game of Jeff. <laughs> okay? So I thought, first, we could critique some men's bodies, some famous men's bodies, to see what you think. Okay. And then, I said, maybe we critique mine. Okay. Maybe Sounds I'm going to show off a little something. Well, this is my kind of video, man. Thank you for such a nice intro. I really appreciate all the backhanded insults to Todd. Mm. Um, those are my favorite. But also, uh, complimenting me. Chris he's, Hemingworth. He's got a different body type. Uh, he's definitely going for more of a superhero build. So, I mean, I appreciate the work he puts in. And that's a lot of dieting, too. Mm. Like me, I just burn fucking 2,000 calories a day, so everything disappears. But this guy is eating right. He has a nutritionist. Obviously, he's in Marvel. They force you to have that. I and did a movie with him before he did Thor. Oh, yeah? First of all, the guy is blessed. 
I mean, Australian genetics, six four. Yeah. He walks. He wakes up like. 90% there, mm. but he is actually, I would imagine like you, naturally pretty lean. So he would just be like taking down yeah. rice, chicken. Sometimes I would see him throw ice cream in his protein shakes for the extra calories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you got it, man. That's why I feel like I'm malnourished right now because when you do burn that many calories, you're burning them all day. Right. Once you spike your heart rate to that and you do that consistently, your heart rate and your metabolism is always up. So mm -hmm. now it's like I'm eating candy, I'm eating extra shit. Sometimes I gotta smoke weed just to have an appetite and eat more. So we got Hemsworth. He actually, here's a little fun fact that no one would know, that they told him to put on weight for Thor because mm -hmm. they wanted him to be big. Mm -hmm. So then he shows up on the day. He's 230, 220, 6'4". <laughs> Shred. Yeah. Just too big for the suit. Oh my god. They said you gotta lose 10 pounds real quick. Real quick, huh? Are you nuts? I'm sure he just got to not put a few ice cream scoops in his yeah. protein shake. It's take, fun. Take it easy, Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> yeah, it's not that big a deal. Um, all right, what about, I mean, everyone. Oh, is that baby Zach Efron? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he looks really great there. Unbelievable. Yeah, like perfect shape. You know what I think he did? I mean, every every big actor in Hollywood's on HGH. They listen to Joe Rogan's podcast. Sure. He talks about it. It's like... You know, it's expensive, but they're on it. But, I don't know, maybe he's just genetics here. He's like in his prime. I'm honestly like 29 years old. I feel like I'm in my prime. And shit melts off me. I, I could do whatever I want. I feel great. I think that's what the stage he's at now. I just want to live in your skin for a day and a half. <laughs> I'm going to be spilling over my jeans. You know what? I take it back. I think Zac Efron did uh, what I did to Jason and carved his six pack into his body here. Cause he, yeah. he's pretty hairy for for a boyish um, teen heartthrob. Oh, there he is! <laughs> I knew he was coming. I knew he was coming. Dwayne, good old Dwayne. God, Dwayne, man, is that just is that hard work or being Samoan? At this point in the Rock's career, I was like, how does this guy have the time to do everything he's doing? This was when he was on his, you know, he was skyrocketing. He Baywatch. Was, this is when he did Baywatch, but even on his social media at this time, he was documenting all of his hard work that he was putting in, getting up 5 a.m. and doing all this stuff. And he was doing a new movie every like three weeks. It was insane. I feel like he's chilled out a little bit, or maybe he's just been everywhere and people just are used to seeing him so much. But this was the prime, prime the rock for me. And I feel like nowadays, nobody really has a relationship or like is able to change the world. He was changing the world at this point. I mean, he was motivating guys, he was loved by girls, women. But it's hard to have both. My analytics on Instagram, you can see, I'm 75% women. I'm a piece of meat, basically. I'm 65%. It's hard to win over, guys. Yeah. Rogan, oh, like. Mark Wahlberg. Hey, it's the 4 a.m. club, guys. We're here. We're here. Performance inspired. You know, I'm a little out of breath because I'm. I got my camera guy filming me in the middle of the workout. It wasn't 4 a.m. It wasn't 4 a.m. You lied. It was 2 a.m. Oh, it was shit. the 2 a.m. club, and he's like, "Hey, I'm Mark and Mark." Uh, dare to be better. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> so we just out here doing curls, straight out of Dorchester, man. He looks tired, bro. Bro, he, like I saw him on Instagram the other day, like I don't know, I don't know if it was just the angle, but he looks like he hasn't slept in weeks, man. He posted his schedule every day, and the only thing that I took issue with, besides waking up at 2 a.m. to work out, was like an hour of prayer. I don't know, I just, an hour? My prayers are pretty quick. It's like, God, good looking out. Yeah, Bad. Dude, I don't know. They right. might have fabricated that. Is, uh, is he having a podcast list. with the Lord? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he having no. a conversation? It was a long time. No We've hate. We've only been here 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, no hate. I love that you have, you know, a little bit of spirituality, but an hour. Too, um, too much. See, I was Captain America. Ah, uh, man, dude, I got a little beef with this guy. There's a little animosity because I feel like, you know, I want his his life and I'm jealous of his, his career he's made for himself. Yeah, welcome to how I feel every day in my life. With every all these guys you're looking at, I'm like, damn, I, I knew this guy for a decade. And yeah. He doesn't deserve it. I do. Yeah. But no, he's great, obviously. He's the man. Kills it. I get a mixture of him and Brody Jenner, they say I look like. Hmm. But dude, I could be jacked like that. I just don't wanna. Right. I don't wanna be jacked like that. You know, I'd rather have a skinny boyish frame. Yeah. We we oh stand a twink. Yes, I agree. And funny enough, Chris Evans and I <laughs> were stand a twink. <laughs> Chris Evans and I were in our first movie together when I was twelve, and he was like sixteen. Oh yeah. And we had scenes together. And then the other day, I was at the Avengers Endgame premiere, and we made eye contact. And in my head, I thought he was gonna go, "Oh my God, Josh, yo, like 
so crazy, look at us, we're here. And instead, he just changed eye contact really quick and yeah. started looking at Scarlett Johansson and we didn't talk. But I'm happy for him. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, Chan. C Tate. Good old Chan. You know what the saving grace about Channing Tatum? My friend worked with him and said in his off time when he's not getting in like dumb shape for a movie, yeah. he goes Solo Garden, uh -huh. PF Chang's, the holy trinity of franchise restaurants, and he'll go in hard body karate and yeah. treat himself to like a slice of cheesecake, the brown bread from Cheesecake Factory. Because if you're eating the white bread, what are you doing with yourself? I'm happy you brought up this guy because yeah. um, you know obviously I, I, I have a relationship with him in the in the internet world. Um, a lot of people like to to say my name Jeff to me, and that's mm. the thing that he started. Mm. And my Instagram handle is just Jeff, so I get a lot of comments, and people like to break my balls with. The whole my name Jeff stuff. Sure. Um, now, randomly, I'm flying to Miami and I get a, a first class ticket. I treated myself. I don't always fly first class, but I did in this situation. Guess who sits next to me? A uh, Delta pilot who was puddle jumping to. <laughs> no, it's Chad. <laughs> okay, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so, so, uh, so he's sitting next to me and I'm like, F man, this is, this is him, bro. He has a hat on and stuff like he's trying to cover up, but I'm like, I, did I talk to him now? Like, he's kind of like about to take a nap. I waited till the end, and uh, right before we were about to take off, I was like, uh, "That's not the end." I waited till the end <laughs> of the flight. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right before he was about to bolt because he had security there, like one of those golf cart thingies. Sure. I tell him real quick. I'm like, "Yo, you mind if we grab a selfie?" Because my Instagram is uh, just Jeff, and everybody, you've ruined my life. You single-handedly with that thing you said, you ruined my life. So the least you could do is take a selfie with me. And he was cracking up. He was like, "Oh yeah, my bad, dude. Of course, let's do it." And he was just such a nice guy. But he was looking like he was enjoying life, man. Where? He was looking like he was eating good. And a lot of people commented that in the picture. I felt bad, but I only had one opportunity to take one picture with him. So, you know, he was having fun. He's enjoying life. He gets back in shape quick. Now, I thought we'd go to some other famous stars who maybe uh, aren't quite there yet, like myself. <laughs> right? I mean, already so much funnier, so much more likable because he's just enjoying life. He's funny. Like, Open, I would, I mean, he's opening up his cappuccino maker. I'd rather hang out with this guy over everybody we've seen so far. He doesn't not have a Tesla. Dude, I'm gonna get in mediocre shape. I don't like I don't like being in, in too good a shape. Will Farrell, bro, Come love on. all these guys. I'd rather hang out with these this half of the video so much more than the first half. Maybe you can't be funny if you're in too good of a shape. Maybe you can't be funny if you lose hundred pounds. This guy, bro. Dude, don't I I, I like him a lot. His name's Callum Von Moger. I have a soft spot for Australians. He looks like an Instagram model. He's gorgeous. He is. He's also Why is he so perfect looking? Is this the effect that I have with people? I mean, like, this guy's really perfect looking. I'm more of like a, a like, I'm a f boy, huh? A little bit. Yeah, he's funny, man. That's pretty cool. I respect him. Should I, uh, de -rope? Do you want to do that? Yeah, do we really get through do. everybody? I really do. Okay. You just sit here. You entertain the masses. You did it! Oh my god! Guys, I'm burning your eyes! What do you guys think about this? Guys, please, YouTube's gonna demonetize me. Oh my Am god. Am I not allowed to show nipples? My ultimate goal was here was to be able to protect my girlfriend from getting disrespected at the movies. And you know what? I ended up getting this type of, uh, of frame, also from jail. But this is my life now. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> I like that zoom. Alright. <clears throat> This is my body now. I'm out of. We're out of here. No. This is my. This is my body. Should I sit down here? What are we thinking? I'm thinking you look very healthy. What does that mean? You look healthy. You look like you're at a healthy body weight, especially like you know. I'm 190. Are you really 190? Yes. It's a, it's Dude, you weigh you weigh less than God. Yeah, of course. You. I mean, <laughs> Todd looks like always a skinny, skinny looking guy. You are. Tanner than Todd. You've been getting a little sun there, huh? Yeah, I got a farmer's tan. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing out in the sun? I went to run in it. Oh, did you? One day I'm running? Yeah. Holy sh! I tore my pack uh, bench pressing. Josh Peck tore his pack. Yeah. The wow. needle joke <laughs> in the surgery center. <laughs> oh, man. The doctor was like, hey. What a surprise. Josh Peck tore his pack. So, what do I need to get to? Like 175? I think you're good, bro. I think you can pack on a good 20. No! Yeah. I'm gonna be like you! No, you don't want to, man. I don't like myself looking at myself in that video. You got real thick thighs, but they're pure muscle. There's not an ounce of fat on your thighs. That's not true, look. Flex it again. Wanna see how many push-ups I can do? 
Sure. Suddenly, I put you in like this fatherly role, and I really want to impress you. Hold on. I'm okay. Count. You ready, Dad? I mean, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Okay. Yeah, come on. Count them out loud, just like so catch up. Ten, two, three, 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 four, three, five. Oh God. Yeah. You need to be breathing more while you're doing that. <sighs> It's almost as if you're pacing yourself, like you know when you run? You know when you're running yeah. and you're breathing? So you need to treat every workout like that. You gotta get that oxygen through your blood in order to, to stay being able to go longer because you're pumping everything out. 40. 40 is great. Not you bad? Know? Yeah, man. That was, that was amazing. You wanna see how many air squats I can do, Dad? <laughs> It's not really the most flattering. 